Hi, today I'm making double chocolate cake. Perfect for chocolate lovers. Let's begin with the dry ingredients. We're going to put in some sugar and some flour. We're going to put in some uh, cocoa powder next. Try to use good quality cocoa powders. That makes a whole lot of difference. Then we're going to put in some baking powder and some baking soda. Then some salt and wet ingredients. Then we're going to put in some eggs and some milk. Then we're going to put in some canola oil. And we are going to raise the mixer and start the mixing slowly. Prevent from flying the flowers all over the place. Then add in some vanilla and continue to mix until it is smooth. It is thick in the beginning, so but keep mixing and then lower the mixer and scrape the side. And then we're going to pull the mixer back up and start it again. After that, we're going to pull some hot water. And then mix it quickly, but don't mix it too fast because you don't want it to spill everywhere. It is very soupy kind of batter. Then we're going to scrape again and mix it for one last time. And then pour the batter into the butter and flour container. Um, cake pans. And then we're going to put them into the oven and take them out when a toothpick comes out clean. Take them off out of the pan and put them onto a rack to cool. Don't frost them until they are cooled. Now we're making the frosting. Put the cocoa powder on top of some of the softened butter. Room temperature butter. Yeah. And then put in some powdered sugar. Do a little bit at first because you don't want it to be super sweet. But if you like a sweet, you can add some more. But start with small amounts so you can control the sweetness of your uh, frosting. Then put in some milk and vanilla and mix. If this is too thick, you can add in some more milk. But if it's okay with you, then you can keep it. Then we're going to take the tops off. All right, cut it on the top to make it flatten. So easy to stack the two layers of cake. Um, don't throw away the tops. You can use them for something else, like making cake pops or ice cream sandwiches or other desserts, whatever you want. All right, and then you are going to put the frosting and smooth it out so every bite you will have the frosting between two layers of chocolate cake. Then we're going to put on some more because it wasn't enough. Um, make sure you don't put too little because then you'll start to pull the cake up and it's going to be really bad. So add enough frosting but not too much. And then we're going to put on the second layer. Then put some more frosting on the top. Just like how we did with the first layer, we're not going to put too much but not too little. We want it to have a little bit of thickness as this is a top layer, but not too thick so that like it's not able to be eaten. And then put some more frosting all around the side of the cake. It is kind of hard to make it smooth on the side, but we will not worry about that because after we frost side of the cake we use this tool to scrape all around the cake just hold the tool and move the cake around it's easy to scrape and make a beautiful design then we're going to pipe on some frosting on the top we use the star shaped tip and we just pipe it all around and keep continue piping on the edge it's very glossy Delicious double chocolate cake. Enjoy! Enjoy.